Well, now, I'm not much fit for entertaining, but I reckon you ain't much in the mood for hospitality either, am I right? Oh, I'm not a big talker, eh? I'm used to that from a surly husband and kids more comfortable with kicking a ball around and having a conversation with their ma. Name's Nama. Nama Creed. Raised a family up here before this dungeon thick fog came took him as my story. Helen sent you over to check on me, I reckon. Now, your concern is wicked kind, but I don't need any pitying. I got my shotgun, I got what's left of my wits. I'll manage. Now, this hullabaloo began after the Lady Margaret came back. My husband, Larry, the others, we all thought that they'd gone missing out there, but the sea took them. The day they came back, whole town could finally breathe again. But then came that fog, like it was following them back to shore. Twas right, said they, such birds to slay, that bring the fog and mist. Don't ask me where I got that from. Probably heard it on Oprah. Never got to ask Larry about what happened in those weeks they were gone. Been around gift horses long enough not to look him in the mouth. He was back. Thought life would go on the way life goes on, one day at a time. When the fog lifts enough to see the Lady Margaret laid up in the harbor, covered in that red seaweed, I always wonder if he'd still be here if I had. The Lady Margaret was a traumatic experience for everyone on board. They were changed men when they came back. I visited with all of them in the days following their return. In my office, there are detailed transcripts of our sessions. I'm afraid it all happened so fast that day there was no time to pack. I hope they may shed some light on what happened out there.